Hey, hello, hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Thanks for starting your week with us here on First Take alongside Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. How I'm Molly Karam. Good Glad morning, to see guys. You here in Bristol, Connecticut. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Skip, another costly win for your squad. Obviously, yeah. Tony Romo suffering a fractured left collarbone in the third quarter of Sunday's win against the Eagles. So no Romo, mm -hmm. no Dez, a slew of other injuries. They are 2-0, and but Skip, are your Cowboys done? Despite what my friend Stephen A. Smith was tweeting last night, no, they are not done. Not unless you tell me that both Romo and Dez are done for the entire year. Or you tell me that Dez and Romo return a little prematurely and they re-break the bones that are now broken. But Stephen A. Smith, if the best case happens, if Romo and Dez both return and remain 100%, you better believe this football team can get to the Super Bowl because if they return healthy, the NFC is going to have hell to pay. So let's talk about what happens in the interim. I still have the best offensive line in all of pro football. And by the way, most people don't get this, but Ronald Leary, my starting left guard, could not play yesterday. So he should be back with a pull groin by next week. Yeah. And my defense remains underrated because it keeps battling its tail off for Rod Marinelli. And what it pulled off yesterday against the Eagles in your town in Philadelphia was nothing short of quietly spectacular. So let's just talk about this. All my Cowboys need to do is win the NFC East yep. because if you win the East, and by the way, they already have two huge division wins. The NFC East title gives you a ticket into the playoffs, even if you have to play on the road. What have my Cowboys now done, Mr. Smith? They have won 10 straight regular season road games. Franchise record. That's unbelievable to me. 10 straight on the road. Mm. And they have beaten Chip Kelly all three times in Philadelphia that Chip is coached in Philadelphia. Really? That's unbelievable. This team, as I keep trying to remind you, loves to play and to win on the road. So would I bet against them in road playoff games? Should they have won at Green Bay last year? Because we know that was a you-know-what. That was a you-know-what. So let's get back to even if Dez and Romo are gone for seven or eight games. Can my Dallas Cowboys win the East? Absolutely, because maybe you can correct me on this, but I don't see their three division rivals, any of those three, running away with the NFC East. Listen, your Giants are not 0-2 awful. The Eagles are not 0-2 awful. They will both make a little noise. They will both have their moments. Hey, the Redskins are not bad. They've already had their moment, but they still have Kirk Cousins at quarterback, which is why I don't fear long-term the Washington Redskins. So let me, let me just go to, if, if my Cowboys, with Brandon Whedon at quarterback, who, by the way, very quietly went seven for his, his seven that he threw in that game mm -hmm. yesterday, seven for seven. Mm -hmm. And remember, this is his second year in the system, and he made a big point last night. This is the first time since seventh grade that he's had the same offensive coordinator for two straight years. So he's far more comfortable in this system now than he used to be. Yep. So what if my Cowboys, who, who have some guts and fight in them that is, mm. is becoming special, what if they pull off a win against Atlanta at home? What if they go to New Orleans, where Jameis Winston won yesterday, and beat Drew Brees to get to 4-0? Right. Guess what happens then? Here comes Greg Hardy. Here comes Rolando McClain. Maybe, maybe here comes back Randy Gregory from his high ankle sprain. Mm -hmm. You don't think that defense is just going to get a little, little, little stronger, but stronger, but stronger? They will. So do I think they're done? No, they're not done because they still can win the NFC East. Thank you very much. Skip Bayless, um, let me start off the show by giving you kudos because for the second consecutive year, you're absolutely right. The Dallas Cowboys are going to win the NFC East. The Eagles once again have let me down. I'm done. Oh, you're, you're, I'm done you're writing it off. I'm writing the Eagles Woo. off. I'm writing the Eagles off. And I'll get to that in a wow. second. Uh, they just look pathetic. I can't believe how awful they have looked yesterday. The Dallas Cowboys looked sensational defensively. When I imagine the fact that they don't have Skandrick, that they don't have, you know, uh, uh, you know, Randy Gregory, okay, that they don't have Greg Hardy, that they don't have Rolando mm -hmm. McClain. And I look at what that defense was able to do yesterday. 
It's very impressive. There's no question about it. And when you imagine Des Bryant and Tony Romo, it's clearly, it's, it's understandable why they were your Super Bowl picks. The Philadelphia Eagles are an entirely different story. The Philadelphia Eagles had 17 yards rushing yesterday. 17 yards rushing. In two games, they have a grand total of 70 yards rushing. Their 17 yards rushing yesterday is the worst since the franchise was in existence in 1961. Yeah. That's how bad the Eagles' offense was. Sam Bradford looked like a straight up, I'm not gonna even call him names. What I'm gonna say is he looked pathetically weak. He looked petrified. Mm -hmm. He looked in over his head like a deer caught in headlights. The offensive line, whether it was Kelsey, whether it was Gardner, whether it was this dude, Barbary, or whomever, mm -hmm. the Eagles offensive line is a shell of itself, and Chip Kelly looks like no genius. You got rid of Evan Mathis, who's now in Denver. This was an 11-year veteran and an all-pro at your left mm -hmm. tackle spot. You see where that's got you, okay? Jeremy Macklin, your wide receiver, is gone. Clearly, Chip Kelly is so addicted to his system. His level of intelligence and his IQ is so above the charts compared to everybody else that somehow how some way he does not believe that he needs talent in order to win in the NFL. He only needs his system. So, Skip Bayless, I will concede that you are absolutely, positively, 100% correct about your Cowboys as it pertains to the NFC East. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here we go again with I, waiting to I was not measuring the Dallas Cowboys, according to the NFC East. Sure, I picked the Eagles. Sure, I thought that they would do some damage because of their offense. Sure, I was wrong about that. I'm wrong about quite a few things. I don't pretend to be infallible, nor do I, tend to, nor do I pretend to be perfect. What I pretend to be which is not pretentious at all, is accuracy as it pertains to the Dallas Cowboys overall. And what do go. I consistently, consistently say? At some point, at some point in time, the Dallas Cowboys, just like Jay Cutler, they won't let you down. Just be patient. What can go wrong will go wrong because... Because why, Skip Bayless? They are, say it with me, they are an accident waiting to happen. Now, in all seriousness, because we have some idiots out there, adults and children, who literally believe that I'm laughing about somebody's injury. No, I don't want anybody to be hurt. I don't want physical Tweeting. harm to come. Tweeting no, 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 no. some more. That, that's right. Thank you. I, no, 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 seriously, in all seriousness, because we, we've got mm -hmm. some people, even in our profession, who will remain nameless. But I saw some uh -oh. yesterday uh -oh. you know, that took it a bit Whoa. seriously. Okay. No, that took it a bit seriously. Yeah. Okay? And I do not wish physical harm upon anybody. I wouldn't be sitting there laughing if somebody was on the turf paralyzed or something like that, or they had a neck injury or had to be carried away in an ambulance or no. anything like that. Injuries come with the game of football. As long as from a health standpoint, you're ultimately okay, all right, and you don't have your career shattered or anything like that. When I'm laughing about it, it's about the result it's going to have on your football team, not necessarily you being injured. So everybody needs to pump the brakes there. Having said all of that, I couldn't help but giggle when I saw Tony Romo go down because I said to myself, I hope he's okay. But I looked at Jerry Jones, who looked like he was on the verge of being taken to the hospital himself because of how depressed he looked, okay? You looked at the Dallas Cowboys season just flashing before their very eyes. I imagined and, 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 and reminisced about my man Skip Baylor saying mm -hmm. that I'm not just picking the Dallas Cowboys to win the NFC East. I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys to win the NFC. I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl, and I couldn't help Help but laugh because yet again, what did I tell you? The Dallas Cowboys, I believe, like you, they have the best receiver in football because I'm not ready to put Des Bryant over Charles Johnson because Megatron just doesn't seem to be Megatron. I think he's taking a bit too many hits in his career. Calvin Johnson. I'm looking yeah. at Calvin Johnson. Yeah, 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 Megatron. Yeah, yeah. Calvin Johnson. Yeah. I'm looking at Tony Romo. Got we it. know he's a big time quarterback. We know what stats he can put up. But when the moment arrives, what's going to happen? I'm looking at their running game, which is virtually non existent as far as I'm concerned. That defense led by Rod Marinelli mm -hmm. looks like it could potentially be big time. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. Yep. But the absence of Tony Romo in combo with Des Bryant for at least eight weeks, I think it's safe to say 
This is what's going to happen. The NFC East is, is a wash because all the Dallas Cowboys have to do is play 500 football the rest of the way, and they got the division. Because I think nine wins are going to deliver you to NFC East. But is it going to deliver you home field advantage? No, against I, I the, don't need it. No, no, wait, I don't need it. Against the they Green travel. Bay Packers? Against the Arizona they can Cardinals, they can definitely against win the Arizona. Seattle Seahawks. They can absolutely I'm, win at no, no, Seattle. I'm not saying. Dallas has the talent to win anywhere. They also have the mindset. And not only that, and they win better. They play better on the road to me than they do at home. No doubt. I'm simply saying to you that all of the stuff that transpired yesterday, all of the stuff that happened over the Dallas Cowboys over the last two weeks mm -hmm. lent itself towards my position, which is this. At some point, point in time something will go wrong with this team i don't know what it is i don't know what it is it it, it, it could be a try it could be it could be a traffic jam going to, to going to texas stadium for crying out loud it could be food poisoning for one particular game it could be somebody i, I don't know all i know is that it never ever fails mm -hmm. and that is what made me giggle because this is nothing more don't think for one second that this is the last thing that's going to happen to the cowboys you can book it something's going to happen with a lot of good stuff is about to happen. something's going to happen with mm -hmm. des bryant's injury something's going to happen with tony robo's injury it's going to get prolonged somehow some way mm -hmm. something's going to get in the way because this is what it is skip mm -hmm. they are not meant to win their time has come their time is gone, and regardless of what happened yesterday, regardless of their victory, more harm than good was, was brought to the Dallas Cowboys, even in victory. And that is what it, it, it just... <laughs> Without go their ahead, big man. three from last year, they still just, got it done. It the just, Eagles just, might be more laughable so right what? now. So what? No, the Eagles are a joke. The Eagles are a joke. That's a, that, the, the difference between the Eagles and the Cowboys is that the Eagles are nothing to laugh about. And we're going to get the into Cowboys that in are a talented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Eagles, they look soft. They look ill-prepared. Okay. Save that for a we'll second. Save that. That's all it is. I've been trying to get this through your head. <laughs> My Cowboys are now an accident waiting to unhappen. Oh, really? Because yeah. watch what's about to happen. If Romo and Dez do get back in, let's say, eight weeks, best case scenario. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll save that tape and you'll be we'll play it again and again Please and again. Do. The accident waiting to Please happen. Do. You know why? Do. There's something going on with this football team. <laughs> There's something special. The guts, the fight. If if they were 0 and 2, if they had blown the game to Eli and then gone to Philly, and after Romo went down, Brandon Whedon stinks it up, and they blow the little lead that they have, and they lose to the Eagles to fall to 0 and 2, mm -hmm. I'd be right there with you. Mm -hmm. That did not happen yesterday. Do you realize against the vaunted genius that is Chip Kelly, that that Chip's offense in Philadelphia against my Cowboy defense, against Rod Marinelli in three tries has averaged 13.3 points against the rest of the opponents at home in the Chip Kelly regime, they're averaging 30 points a game. 30 a game versus 13.3, something is going on here with this coordinator and this defense that can get them through the night. The offensive line didn't go away. The, j just watch what's going to happen now, because if they can just keep their heads above water, and I just made the case, I give them a shot against Atlanta and at New Orleans. I don't give them a shot in the fifth game against New England, but then they get a bye week. And if they start to get healthy and eligible, your, your prediction about accident waiting to happen is going to go right down the toilet. Skip Bayless. I know that you love to be right. You're just addicted mm -hmm. to the world confirming that you're well, right. But let's be clear about Especially against the, you. Let's, it, it, he I, was pretty hey, right yesterday. Hey, the listen. picks, though. We'll give you props so on what? that. So what? So what? A dead clock? So right. what? Oh, what? this so dead what? clock is right every Monday. That, that, that's not true. That's it? not true. There's a few Whoa. games you've gotten wrong last Whoa. week. Let's call a spade a spade yeah, now. Yeah, but, but, but who's but, ahead? But, I think I'm ahead of you like 7 to 1. No, it's not 7 to 1. It's significantly much closer than that. But that's neither here nor there, Skip Bayless, because for me, for me, me. As long as I'm right about the Cowboys, mm -hmm. it does not bother me. Yep. And this is the beauty of it all. Because let me tell you something right now. Let me remind the world of my promise. Not a bet, but a promise that I would have to wear Dallas Cowboys paraphernalia the entire week of mm -hmm. Super Bowl week in the event yep. that the Dallas Cowboys get to the Super Bowl. We all know I don't want that nightmare. Yep. And I am telling you right now, it will not happen. And that's what you have to pay attention to right here. Skip Bayless, you sit there and you hit your wagon up team you're addicted you hold on to them and then you are absolutely positively miserable for months when it doesn't happen so at the end of the day 
Where does my joy come from? My joy comes from the reality that from December on, Skip Bayless is going to have a very, very miserable offseason mm. because your Dallas Cowboys are going to let you down. Tony Romo will come back. Des Bryant will come back. And I promise you, something else will happen because it's already been ruined. They ain't getting home field. It's already, and even though they perform sure well on the road, that? they're not getting home field. You can cancel that. There's no way on earth that the Dallas Cowboys get home field advantage in a, in a, in a, come playoff time Thank you for with, with, with them being gone for eight to ten weeks. Tony Romo and Des Bryant. It's just not going to happen. Brandon Whedon is going to lead you mm -hmm. to victory? Come on now. It's just not going to happen. I mean, he's going to win a couple of games now. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to be completely wet the bed. But the Dallas Cowboys will struggle. They will not be the same team. And as a result, it will cost them home field advantage in the playoffs. And as a result of that, they will not be going to the Super Bowl. As I promised you, mm -hmm. they would not. This, to me, as long as Tony Romo, God, God bless him, and they don't want any, any, any life-threatening thing to happen to him, of mm -hmm. course. But thank goodness, you know, he's relatively healthy, but he can't play football. In the end, I want you on the field with your best losing that way uh, rather than you getting injured, except with the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Because with the Cowboys, my accident waiting to happen mantra, mm -hmm. I love that to, to, to continuously prove correct. Okay, whatever can go wrong, will. Mm -hmm. And that is what has happened to the Cowboys. And you will be forced to face that. Mm. sooner than you think. And you will be forced to wear cowboy paraphernalia for that it will, it whole will not week happen. leading up. It will not happen. No? It will not Our happen. Our bet is still it, in. It will, it's, it's no still, bet. Yeah. I didn't even ask you to bet me. I okay. volunteered. That's no true. bet involved. Okay. I will gladly do this because it will not happen. Okay. That miracle will not try to Okay, but you're though. declaring it null and void as in it can't happen now, but it's still in effect, right? It can't happen. Okay, can't I just want to make sure it's still in effect. Happen. We, we got it on record. All right, you heard from Skip and Stephen A. on the matter. Now it's time for you guys to weigh in on Twitter. Let us know what you think by replying yes or no to the hashtag losingromo.